hey, how are you? I'm Rusty Humphreys. I'm in Romania. I'm at one of the most exclusive clubs in, in the country. And uh, it's, I, I, went, I got a guest pass yesterday, $75 for one guest pass for one day. It's not that. We're live on the air. Get it, get out here. Well, then hurry up and go change and come back. I, I'm on the air now. Hi. Okay. So, uh, Paul Manafort, he's uh, in big trouble. And uh, by the way, do me a favor, would you please, would you check in? Where are you? I'm in Romania right now. Who are you? Where are you deplorable from? And uh, check in and say hi. I would love to see you and, and say hi to you. Um, it's, it's always fun to see who's out there. By the way, I've got, I have a friend here. I was at a movie in Romania. It cut off? Okay. Oh, good. We're back on. I was in a movie when I was in Romania a couple of years ago. Jane Seymour was in it. But the star of the movie is this beautiful girl right here, Hi. Julia Nominee. And Julia, it's, it's a movie called Love by Design, right? Yes. Yes. And it's, I got to be honest, Hollywood sucks sometimes. Well, no, Hollywood sucks most of the time. But it really sucked when it came to putting her movie out. It, she did such a, you like, you like financed it and you got, you wrote, wrote part of it. You starred in it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got Jane Seymour and Michael yes. Damien. And, and a whole David Oakes, who's right now playing in Venus and Fur, next to Natalie Dorm Dorner from Game of Thrones. You can see them in London, in the West End. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. So David Oakes. Very Great cool. actor. I and, knew he was going to make it. And, and a good guy. Anyway, you can see the movie. It's called Love by Design on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, go watch it. And uh, by the way, um, she looked beautiful in the movie. She's, you've, I don't want to say, you just, you look great. I'm after the gym, so. Yes, okay. A little bit of I'm going to go and talk to, <laughs> f talk to them for a while. Why don't you change? You want to come back out yes. and hang with me? Yes. Okay, so it's Love by Design. This is Julia. Love by Design. And you're not doing the, the, the jewelry anymore. You like some of the biggest am, jewelry line in I'm, Europe. Yes, but I'm going to continue doing amazing things. Okay. We have the production company. We have a platform that I'm going to release soon. Okay. So and you have music tuned. videos too. Yes. With I'll type music. them. I'll type her name in at the end so you can find her. Yes. All right. Okay, come on back out soon. later. Yes. All right. Bye. All right. Bye, Julia. You. Okay. All right. Let's talk. Okay. First of all, let's say hi. I got to get out of there. They're going to kick me out of this fancy, fancy club. Um, Boris Becker, I think, is plays tennis out of here. Okay, there we go. The Wi-Fi is weird here. Okay, so let's see who we got here. Uh, Jeffrey says, tell her to hit me up. Um, I, Tiffany's there. In India, Mark is in Indianapolis. Uh, Jeffrey is saying, boycott all movies. Actually, that movie is a very nice, family-friendly movie, that Love by Design. You'd like it. Again, you have to have Amazon Prime to watch it. Um, I think you'd like it. Okay, um, Anderson's there in Oklahoma. Quinton is in Anchorage, Alaska. Betsy's there. Susan's there. Jackie's in Iowa. Who else is there? We've got uh, Connie in there in Jerry, North Carolina. Mark is in Dayton Beach, Florida. Jennifer's hanging out. A uh, lot of people here. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Um, Utah, Michelle is there. Hi. Uh, howdy from Austin, Texas. Eddie, hello. Okay. Um, and being in Romania, it, it, um, it's a beautiful country. This is... Um, a lot of Russian influence here. This is um, Eastern Bloc Soviet country, but they want to be friends with America. Most people speak English here. It's, it's shocking how many people speak English. Um, the new restaurant that just opened up at the mall, it's the first one in the country, two and a half hour line, Taco Bell. The taco, they have a two and a half hour line to go to Taco Bell uh, at the mall. Uh, today I went to Pizza Hut. And, and again, I'm trying to go to like, hey, what's the Romanian food? Oh, let's go. Hey, yes, we go right here. Pizza Hut, what are you talking about? And they have ribs, hamburgers, and uh, salmon at the Pizza Hut. It's crazy. Okay. But I want to talk about this indictment now, this stuff with Paul Manafort. Um, they found he spent $700,000 on uh, antiques, $500,000 on uh, suits. The guy is kind of, uh, Raymond says, I have Wi-Fi from hell. I'm sorry, I'm in Romania. There's only so much I can do. I'll do, try to do better tonight. I will be on live 9 p.m. in the east, 
uh, 6 p.m. in the West. Um, Barry wants to know if <laughs> I'm selling a couch. Uh, anyway, um, this stuff with Manafort. I never was a big fan of Manafort. I never got him. I never understood why he was important to the Trump campaign. He was important. He got Trump through the convention because the establishment did everything they could to make sure that uh, Trump wouldn't get through that convention unscathed. It was terrible. It was, it was the, uh, the convention was terrible, but it went okay because of Paul Manafort. So we give him credit for that. But other than that, I'm trying not to step on these bicycles outside this fancy club. So let me walk around trying to, sorry. Okay, so the whole thing with Paul Manafort was he was only there for about three months. Then the whole Russia thing came up. Russia, 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 Russia. Paul Manafort was in bed with Russia. Well, it wasn't anything during the Trump administration. It certainly wasn't anything during the campaign. We know that the Clintons um, gained a lot of wealth through Russia. But this whole idea that we're, that we're gonna try to tie Donald Trump to somebody who did something years ago is asinine. It's nothing but politics and it's wrong. Now, I thought Robert Mueller was trying to look into the evils that Donald Trump did and the collusion between Russia. There is none, unless you look at the Democrat Party. Now, we have to keep our eye on the ball. If Paul Manafort did these things, if he did money laundering, if he broke the law, if he didn't pay his taxes, then he should be held accountable. That's what we do in Russia. Unlike countries in Eastern Europe where um, corruption is kind of normal, um, in America we don't stand for corruption or we're not supposed to. Unfortunately, too many of the people that are entrenched in government are corrupt. How is it that congressmen or senators come into the Congress with barely enough money to pay for rent and leave being multimillionaires? It's wrong. And so I support going after those people that did something wrong. The problem is, is we aren't going after the big boys. We're not going after the Clintons who have been the crime syndicate of my generation. I wonder if anybody's committed as many crimes as the Clinton family has, the Clinton crime family. And so they need to be held accountable. And we need you and me to continue to call for the investigation into the Clinton Foundation, into Bill Clinton's speeches, into the sale of uranium, and any other crooked thing Hillary Clinton may have done as Secretary of State. And then I want to know, what did Barack Obama know and when did he know it? What did Barack Obama know and when? What did Barack Obama know and when did he know it? And that should be a phrase said over and over and over and over again. We cannot allow the Democrats to steal the narrative, to steal the story, to steal the line of questioning. What they're trying to do is make you look that way. Oh, it's Trump. It's Paul Manafort. No, no, come back. The story is here. The story is Bill and Hillary Clinton and the crimes that they were going to commit if she got elected and the money that they stole from countries around the world based on a lie that she would become president of the United States. David agrees. Rich says, deep state criminals equals Obama Clinton. Mike says they will never convict uh, Clinton with a Democrat prosecutor. Um, where's her missing emails? You're absolutely correct. Lois is watching from Georgia. Thank you. Monique is there. So 45 is excused because these actions were before and after him. Well, the Clintons aren't in office and they didn't win. So where do we go from here? All right, Monique, here's the place. First of all, That's like saying somebody you worked with committed crimes 10 years ago and you should be held accountable. 
Um, no. Okay? The Clintons aren't in office now. She was in office as Secretary of State for a long time. He's a former President of the United States. And because of that, he is given a respect that very few people in this world will ever receive. He has taken that gift, the gift of the Presidency of the United States bestowed to him by the American people. He has taken that gift and used it to enrich himself, to enrich others, his friends. It is the definition of corruption. A president using a foundation, a, a supposed charitable foundation, which, by the way, they're not giving out a lot of charity. They're doing this in a way to enrich themselves, and it is hurting the world's stability, and it is hurting the United States of America. Do you agree? Yes. Give me a heck, heck yeah, Rusty. Heck yeah, if you agree. If you don't agree, give me a thumbs down. I don't agree, Rusty. You're wrong. I want to hear from you right now. Carl says, plus no more salary should be paid when retired from the government job. How many millions will be saved from there? Vicky says, the FBI and DOJ are just as corrupt. They won't prosecute any of these deep state. That is a problem. And that's one of the problems why Mueller was such a poor choice. Mueller's best buddy was Comey. What, he's going to convict? He's going to go after that guy? Hell no. So we need to, as Americans, stand up for this stuff. Stand up for what's right. What is that phrase? The only way uh, evil can continue is if good people do nothing. So we're doing something. And we need you to, to help. We need you to stay here on Right Wing News. And follow me. My name is Rusty Humphreys. If you haven't seen me before, I do a show just about every night, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, right here on this Facebook page and others, working with Liberty One TV. We're going to be doing more things with them. And we're going to be continuing to getting the truth out, not allowing the mainstream media to lie to you. We're going to go around the mainstream media. It's one of the reasons why I've taken myself off talk radio. The talk radio companies, the companies that own those companies, are billions, 22 to $28 billion in debt. They're in big trouble. And I promise you, those 22 to 25 minutes of commercials every hour on your favorite talk radio station, they are affecting what your talk show host can say. All I'm going to do is tell you the truth. I'm going to go over the news every night and let you know what I really think and let you comment right here. Okay? Mary says, when will Jeff Sessions start doing his job? Americans are getting sick of Republicans not standing up. Cindy says, Democrats equal corruptions. Jessica's asking about the couch. Yes, the couch is being the couch has already been sold. I, I sold it for ten million dollars. Thank you very much. Up with couches. You people have a lot of free time in your hands. <laughs> Down with futons. Okay, I'm with you. Uh, Edward says thank you for keeping the message consistent. Jessica wants to see the couches. Uh, as American people, we are accountable for everything we do, so why isn't the government? Exactly. That's all we're saying. All we're saying is, all I'm saying is, is that if it's a crime for me to do something and a government official does it, they should be held more accountable because they've been given special benefits and special privileges because of the gift of the office that we've given them. Okay. Mike says Republicans equal politicians. Politicians equal corruption. I wouldn't say every politician that's Republican is corrupt. Shoe on head if couch has been sold. How about hand on head? There we go. Who are you? Stephen, my name is Rusty Humphreys, and I'm a talk show host. I've been around for, for 30 years doing talk radio. My show is the sixth largest in America, and now I'm focusing on getting the message right to people like you. I want to give you a voice. I want to give you an opportunity to speak out. I want to give you a chance to interact more than you would on a talk station. And so every night, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, I'll be right here. It'll be 4 o'clock in the morning here in Romania, but I'm going to be on the air. What about WikiLeaks? They have answers. I agree with you. I was not a big fan 
of uh, the head of WikiLeaks. I was not. I did not like the way uh, he leaked classified information on things that could affect the lives of soldiers serving in Afghanistan and Iraq. I didn't like that and think it was right. But when it is corruption in government, and I don't care if it was Democrats or Republicans, when it was corruption in government, and these 30,000 emails, these things that Hillary Clinton uh, did illegally, or possibly did illegally, then I do believe that Assange maybe should be pardoned. Because I want to know what he knows. I want to know what he knows, and I want to know what Hillary knew, and when she knew it, and I want to know what Barack I want to know what Barack Obama knew and when he knew it. I'm losing Wi-Fi. I appreciate everybody. Um, I'm going to put Julia's name and that movie Love by Design on Amazon. I want you to go watch it. It's free if you're an Amazon Prime member. Um, I want to thank you very much. I'll be on at 9 tonight, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, 4 a.m. Romania time. And uh, I appreciate you. I hope you'll participate tonight. And I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I'll keep reading your comments. I'll keep reading your comments here on this stream, and hopefully I'll use some of these comments tonight on the show. Thank you very much. May God bless you. May God bless America. I'm Rusty Humphreys. This is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. Thanks for hanging out.